Oh, what's going on? Made Javante Tank Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz at 130 pounds. I guess they've agreed to do the fight at 130 pounds. And um, seeing a lot of different videos, a lot of people talking about how um, Tank has pretty much like given up his A side. Um, that, you know, he's basically bowed down to Santa Cruz or, you know, he's, he's putting himself in danger by doing so. And um, I've made other videos before in the past, and I'm not sure it's like why people just keep ignoring this like part. Like, it's literally like people just, this man keeps saying this thing over and over again, has been saying this thing over and over again for months. But it's like everybody just, just completely, you said, kind of ignores what he keeps saying. And what he's been cons consistently saying is that no, he's gonna, he'll fight at 130 and he'll fight at 135 pounds, depending on the fight. And even when talking about with the Santa Cruz fight, he's been saying, no, I'll fight him at 130 pounds. He's like 135, 130 pounds. Like he's literally said this in interviews even before his last fight. He was saying, no, nah, yeah, you know, he has no issue fighting at 130 or 135 pounds. And he said it on multiple cases. Yeah, I'll fight him at 130. It's not a problem. It's not an issue. He literally said this, but people just for whatever reason, like, I mean, it's just everybody. Everybody's just completely just ignores the fact that he keeps saying this. Why I don't know, but it's not like like literally everybody just just con you know continues to ignore him. Like you're fighting with 130 pounds now. Now everybody's like you're fighting with 130 pounds. Why would you do that? When he's literally said it on multiple occasions that yo I'll fight him at 130 pounds. I have no issues with that. And um, I know people are looking at the last fight and they're like yo man he had to go in a second time to make weight. And the thing is that he was fine um, when it comes to you know him dieting down and everything. He was absolutely fine. Tank Davis messed up on the last day when he decided that the last part of the cut that he's supposed to do with the team, he decided, I'm going to do it by myself. I'm big enough and I'm old enough and I've done this enough to do it by myself and tried not to involve his team. And that's why when he stepped on the scale, you know, when he stepped on the scale, he was off. And usually, you know, people, you know, people try to set things up in a way where the last couple of pounds you get off could be just, you know, water weight. Not trying to actually lose a lot of physical weight, you know, like you're supposed to necessarily. Like, like you know, some might, might think that you want to do. No. If you can, last couple pounds, just lose water weight and make the weight and, you know, and end up hydrating and be as big and strong as you can possibly can, then that's what you do. Um, soon as he missed that weight, um, you could tell. Like, you could tell he had a shitload of water in the system. Uh, shit, there was nothing drawn about him. He had a shitload of water in the system. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's weird. You know, and even though it was two pounds, I was like, nah, he should be able to make it. I was like... I was looking at him saying, nah, he should be able to make it. He's, he has a ish load. He has five, six pounds. He could easily lose. You know, he could easily lose. And, you know, he got with his team, you know, let his team do what they do. And he lost the two pounds. If you're having issues making weight, you're not losing two pounds in a couple of hours. You're lo When you're having, you know, issues making weight, you get to the point where losing just a tiny little smidgen becomes an issue. You know what I mean? Because where you sit in there for, for an hour, you can sit there for an hour, two hours, and not even and still not even make the weight. You're not losing two whole damn pounds, you know, in a couple of hours, if or an hour or whatever it was, an hour or two hours, whatever you had time to lose it. If you if you're having issues making weight, you know, what I mean? so because of that, I mean, no, I believe that he can still make 130 pounds because of that. I don't, I just think, I believe them when they say, when his trainer says that, nah, he tried to do it by himself. That's why he missed weight. I 100% believe them because I saw what the result was. The result wasn't him going back and then still missing weight by a pound and a half or by a pound. No, he made the weight and he made, he was able to make it back easily. So he's fine. He's 100% can still, I believe, still fight at 130 pounds. As long as he's disciplined, everything, he's good. I would say personally though, still go to Cunningham. Even, even the fact that, even the fact that you're, you, you sat there and you decided I'm gonna do this by myself. The last two, you know, the last two pounds or the last night, whatever. It still that does still show a certain level of, of you know of having an issue with discipline. But the making like as far as him cutting down with weight, you know, to the day where you know he had to, he had his um his weigh in. I think he was fine. So I think you know what I'm saying I think he's good. I think what he needs to do is just get with Cunningham because when it comes to just daily stuff. He's also very, 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 very focused when it comes to Cunningham and respects him to a certain way where he just, he's not going to do that to him. You know what I mean? So 
As far as him fighting at 130 pounds, no, it's not him bowing down to anything. Um, it seems as if even with the way they've been talking the last year or the last months, it seems that's also been part of their plan to go up and down depending on, you know, the matchup that they have available. And um, Santa Cruz is a big, huge matchup, and he gets, a good, he gets to be able to, he gets to go back down, fight for his belt, and get his belt back. And believe it or not, Santa Cruz is still a champion at 126 pounds. So if they let him still hold on to that belt, if he loses to Tank Davis, he can still go down to 126 pounds and be still be a champion. If they let him hold on to it. You know, so... And as far as the fight, I will say this. I think people... People... Like... To me personally, I think people, they put Tank at such a high pedestal. And they put the expect expectations so high that he's in a lose-lose situation. If he blows somebody out, he's supposed to do that. If he has a little bit tougher fight, even if he wins going away, winning almost every single round, he gets trashed because of it. You know, Tank Davis is a really, really good fighter. But just like all the other fighters, as he steps up in, in, in competition, there are going to be fights where he's going to have issues in those particular fights. Not every fight's just going to be a blowout. And when you're talking about somebody, that I understand this guy has been ducking people and everything like that, but he still is a good fighter. You know, he's still one of the top fighters out there. You know, so so people to, for people to just say, oh, yeah, he's going he's gonna to get blown out, this and that's going to happen to him, I don't believe so. You know what I'm saying? I believe he's a he's a good fighter, and we need to put respect on the level of skill that he has and what he's capable of still doing. You know, and he's I personally don't believe he's any kind of washover. You know what I mean? And I think as a Tank's gonna have to make adjustments in that fight. I believe Tank ends up winning that fight. If he catches Santa Cruz in certain ways, he might splatter him out. You know what I mean? He might, you know, still put him out and knock him out. But I won't be surprised if he has you know, adjustments that he needs to make in that particular fight and issues that he has in that, you know, that he has in that fight. He's not, he's a great fighter, but he's not like this Superman fighter. He's not like he's just this thing that, you know what I mean? Like the greatest we've seen type of level fighter. All these fighters, regardless of how good they are, when they step into certain rings with certain guys, they're going to have issues. They're going to have problems. They're going to have tough points. And Tank is no difference. He is absolutely no difference when it comes to Tank. Um, and people, because of his pat, the things that he's done in the past, people are just kind of, you know what I mean? They, I, they think they kind of want Santa Cruz to get wiped out, you know? And they're kind of just dismissing the level of skill he does have and the things that he is capable of doing and just brushing it aside. And it puts Tank in a bad situation where even if he wins the fight, if he takes him a long time, if he has any issues in there whatsoever, all of a sudden, all oh, Tank is a hype job, all oh, Tank isn't what we thought he was and this and that because they put, you know, the mark of what everybody expects him to be is just it's like so freaking high. And it's crazy because people talk about how he's undisciplined, how he can't make weight, how he can't do all this, this stuff, but then, they try to they put his as you know they put his the expectation so high as if like his skill level is on this whole other galaxy, you know what I mean? Because yo, David Haney is 135 pounds. You put him up against Santa Cruz, I don't think he's running through that door. Like like, I don't think he's gonna run through him. He'll beat him, you know what I mean? Because he's, he's he's just big, so he's gonna beat him. But even and then we're talking about at 135, I don't think necessarily he's gonna run through him like that. You know what I mean? So if somebody as large, as big as him, somebody's going up to 140 pounds, I don't think he's going to run through Santa Cruz like that. I'm not expecting Tank to do the same thing. And Tank is, you know, he is skilled. He is on a whole different level. But like, let's just be real. These are one of those fights where, you you know, you are facing up against the champions. You can't just brush your eyes to the fact that this guy has been a champion for a long time. And even when he got him put into a dog-ish fight with Mares, he was able to handle his business and come out. When he lost his his belt, he was able to make the adjustments, come back and get that belt back and become champion again. He didn't just fiddle away and just run away somewhere. He didn't just say, nah, keep the belt, I'll fight another time. He came in there and did what he had to do, you know? And a fight like this could, you know, push him to a whole different level. This is the biggest fight of his career. And when that happens, we, we know how people train when that's the case, a.k.a. Madonna versus Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? You're expecting this and fight night comes around. And you see a whole different animal, you know, so let's not sleep on Santa Cruz, you know, and let's not put Tank into basically a lose-lose situation, you know, but I look forward to him making weight easily at 130 pounds, you know, I have him beating Santa Cruz, you know, 
either a 12 round decision or late mid to late stoppage but I think he is going to have things he's going to have to figure out in that bout. And I would not be surprised if it ends up being a 12-round fight. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.